Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Bridge Commander with me, Get Daved. Last time we took the Sovereign out on a shakedown cruise, uh, won our four first war game, and then won our second one when our ally attacked us. What fun twists await us next? Greetings, Captain. I see from your first officer's report that everything on the Sovereign is in working order. Yes, sir. Relief efforts in the Vesuvi system are still proceeding. Might want to check out the Geronimo. We've sent in a science vessel to try to determine what caused the solar pulse. The USS Berkeley, under command of Captain Elizabeth Haley, is leading the investigation oh, with the Haley. help of Commander Data from the Enterprise. Because of extremely high radiation levels, they've been having difficulty in penetrating the residual gas clouds. The more powerful shielding on the Sovereign will be helpful in the investigation. Commander Dado will join you to assist the science team in the search for the cause of the incident. All right. Rendezvous with the Berkeley in the Vesuvi system. Once Commander Dado is on board, he will give you further instructions. New out. And yes, it is the real Brent Spiner who's going to be uh, joining us, so that's something to look forward to. All right. Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Just captain. gonna double check that that is in fact where we want to go. Yep. Your orders, Captain. Aye, aye. That makes sense. Vesuvi is the thing that blew up. That's where the radiation should be. But I like to double check. Picard told me to in the first video. We've arrived in the Vesuvi system, sir. Sir, I'm reading a Romulan warbird on the other side of the planet. It looks like she's preparing to warp. Track its course. Aye, Commander. One moment. The warbird is heading to the Vesuvi dust cloud. Oh, that's, that's trouble. That's the same way we're going. Let's follow. Course laid in for the dust cloud. All Your right. Orders, Captain. Aye, aye. We've arrived at the outer edge of the dust cloud, sir. There's no sign of the warbird. The USS Berkeley is nearby. Shall I hail them? Absolutely. Captain. Channel open. Greetings, Captain. I'm Elizabeth Haley, Captain of the Berkeley. I'm glad you're here. Commander Data is prepared to beam over. A rank in every Data sentence. Has aboard, sir. It's been frustrating trying to wade through the dense cloud of radiation and dust left from the Vesuvi event. I'm sure you'll have greater success with your newly enhanced deflector and sensor palettes. This star gave every indication it was going to last another 10 billion years. It's a pretty we good run for a star. By some of the ejected surface debris from the face of the star, we might be able to piece together what happened. I believe Commander Data can elaborate. Yes, I can. We managed to triangulate possible locations of the star's debris, but were unable to get close enough to scan the dust cloud with any success. Welcome aboard, Commander. <laughs> Have a seat. Thank you. Are you going to respond to what he said? As we went deeper into the cloud, radiation levels increased and were a constant drain on the shields. After three attempts, the Berkeley fell back to its current position and contacted Starfleet for a ship with stronger shielding. We're hoping the Sovereign can get in there and collect the information we need to further our studies. Chief, so you want me to fly well, in? it'll definitely be a balancing act, Commander. The radiation will be a significant drain on the Sovereign's shields, but... I think I can buy us enough time to scan for the star's debris. Great. We're transmitting the information we've already gathered to you now. I'm confident you and Commander Data will be able to finish the job. Thank you, Captain. I'm receiving the data now. I look yeah. forward to seeing your results. We'll see you when you get back. Haley out. I have data was received. All right. Dust cloud that might contain stellar debris from the face of the star. They are entered into the con. All Confirmed. right. Courses to four nav points have been plotted. We can Yellow go to any alert. of these shields begin our search. Then we're set. Shall we head in, Captain? Well, let's crank the power to everything, actually. I probably won't need weapons, so... Actually, I probably will. I'm, I'm sure something will come up with that. Yes, sir. Romulan. Womulans. Entering the dust cloud. You will see it start to drain our shields, but we should be okay. Get scanning, Miguel. Initiating scan. Sensors indicate this is a cluster of inert matter and not stellar debris. All 
I usually have to get within 20 kilometers, so... Captain, there are still fragments which have not yet been scanned. One of them could be the stellar debris we were looking for. Thank you, Mr. Data. Scan. Oh, goodness. Sensors indicate this is a remnant of one of the planets. This is not the stellar debris we are looking for. This is not the stellar debris we are looking for. Scan. Sensors indicate this is a remnant of one of the planets. This is not the stellar debris we are looking for. Next. Yes, sir. There's typically three or four chunks at each one. Actually, if memory serves, I don't know if it randomizes every time, but I think it's at nav 3 that you find something interesting. Captain, there are several debris fragments in the area that could be matter from the star's surface. We should scan them. Initiating scan. Can I tell him to scan? Our scanners are reading the Ooh. stellar matter's composition. High levels of hydrogen and some helium, but very little iron or other heavy elements. Captain, we have located the stellar debris from the Vesuvi star. Sh uh, whatever. Suspected. Supernovas occur naturally when the heavier elements created by solar fusion suffocate the reactions in a star. The resulting solar pulse was created by bringing the star to the threshold of collapse. This event had to have been caused by an outside force. Once we return to the Berkeley, I can run advanced simulations on the information we have gathered and create a profile of what might have occurred. Okay. Maybe we should get that Twitch looked at. Sir, we're receiving an emergency distress call from the Berkeley. The transmission is pretty garbled, but I think I can clean it up a bit. Unknown vessels are disabled and we have sustained heavy damage. Please assist. Message repeats. Mayday, Mayday. Oh, this goodness. Is USS Berkeley to all. We are under attack from unknown vessels. The Berkeley is not a combat vessel, Captain. I recommend we return to her position immediately. Wasn't it a everything nebula? We need, Mr. Diaz. Affirmative, Commander. All readings have been cataloged. Your orders, Captain. Yes, sir. All right. And I guess we will be getting into a fight, so we probably won't need advanced sensors for that. Red alert. Start draining on the ship's systems right now. Oh my goodness, they are still in a fight. Hurry! We are being hailed. On screen. Sovereign, thank heaven you came back. You must have frightened off whoever the dust attacked cloud. us. Can you identify the attacker, Captain Haley? Negative, Commander. Whew. The radiation and dust completely blocked them from our sensors. There was no sign of their approach until they were on us. We are operating on emergency power, and our long-range communications are offline. You'll have to notify Starfleet of our situation. Why would anyone attack a lightly armed science vessel? I know. You'd have to be perhaps. crazy. It could be there is something here someone does not want us to find. Then why not attack us? We were closer to the core. Because we have a tough ship. Back here, away from the stellar debris. I surmise the information we gathered will prove very useful in solving this mystery. Sir, we should contact Starfleet and inform them of the Berkeley situation. Oh yeah, that. Your orders, sir? I've informed Admiral Liu of our progress. One moment. She's responding. Stand down weapons. Captain, I've All received stations, the data on the stellar alert. material you found and assigned a team to analyze it. The Federation is most disturbed by your discovery. The fact that the Vesuvi star did not come to its end by natural causes is a matter of utmost concern. Didn't we already I've know that? I've given assurances that the Federation is putting the highest priority into the research of your data. I'll keep you apprised. I've sent a recovery team to assist the Berkeley. 
If you feel she can hold out to their arrival, I want you to track down the attackers. I do not feel she can hold out. attack on a Federation science vessel is a serious matter and must not go unanswered. We cannot allow others to assault our ships at will. Use whatever means necessary, Captain. I leave the matter in your hands. Contact me when you have some significant information. View out. Call you maybe. Sensors Got it. The unknown vessel entered the dust cloud. Its engines have left trace subspace distortion pockets in their wake. I have plotted a new waypoint into the con. I'm gonna wait just a minute until Nav Alpha. New craft entering the area. It's the relief vessel that will take the Berkeley home. Very well. Captain, All right. now that the yes, Nightingale sir. has arrived, we can begin the hunt for their attacker. Entering the dust cloud. Red alert. We'll save the power for now. Scanners indicate a small object or device ahead of us, Captain. It's a configuration I'm unfamiliar with. Interesting. It appears to be a probe of some sort. Perhaps we should scan it. That's all you ever say. Initiating scan. Diaz. The energy signature is building exponentially. I believe a self-destruct sequence has been activated. Don't mind me. The probe has been destroyed. Any ideas as to what it was doing here? Perhaps an intelligence probe, left to gather information about us. The probe was composed mostly of silicate, which is uncommon to say the least. Silicate it is, is pretty common. Another race is investigating the recent occurrences in the Vesuvi system, just as we are. There isn't much we can do about it now. We can't be distracted from our mission. Based on readings from this region, I have plotted the possible destination of the unknown vessel that attacked the Berkeley. I've added the new coordinates to the con, sir. All right. Nav point beta, let's go. A little disappointed that I've been draining all this energy. We are leaving the dust cloud. Interesting. I got a bad feeling about this. A sense of plot to destroy the Jedi. Mm. I am no longer detecting any sign of the alien ship. I am sorry, Captain, but I lost the trail. You're fired. Wait a minute. I'm detecting the remains of a ship. It appears to be what's left of Stand a Romulan warbird. All stations, yellow alert. No doubt the same ship that attacked the Berkeley did this as well. It must have been a powerful ship to destroy a Romulan warbird. Could have been different ships. Uh-oh. Two Romulan warbirds have just exited warp. They are powering weapons. We might be Red able alert. to take both. We're receiving a message from the Romulans. On screen. Hey. This is Captain Terek of the Romulan Empire. By Terek, a cold one? The Federation now destroys ships and whole systems to stop anyone who dares challenge its rule. We are not the aggressors here, Captain. We are as baffled by these attacks as you are. Check the black Save box. Lies and prepare yourself for destruction. Okay. Can we get back into the dust cloud? Yes, sir. Not really needing sensors the same way anymore. Because I'm pretty sure... Did that screw up the nav point intercept? Yes, sir. Maybe. Shields are taking the brunt of it, but they can't hold against this for too long. 
We are outnumbered, but the radiation dust cloud could work to our advantage. If we withdraw in there, it will be difficult for them to lock weapons. It will also make it difficult for us, Commander. What other choice do we have? I've plotted the course back to the dust cloud. That's not beta? Oh, goodness. Alright, yeah, we appear to be in the dust cloud. Stand down weapons. All stations, yellow alert. We're not safe by any stretch, but I don't want to... Oh my goodness. Don't mind me, I'm just going to keep rolling the ship. Entering the dust cloud. We're receiving a message from the Romulans. On screen. Excellent tactics, Captain. The radioactive dust will enable you to track us with our floating shields engaged. to fight as cowards. We came to tear the flesh from the treacherous bone. Oh no. Um. Red alert. Okay, so we're having a fight. That's fine. I was not expecting that. Still can't see my enemies. There we go. a big ship. Please shoot Sovereign, thank you. The forward shield is draining. Just heard it. Keep turning. Looks like we have a shot at their belly, which is where we need to get them. Oh goodness. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Scare them off. Oh. Oh, not quite this time. Of oh my goodness. Ship, Captain. Captain, our attacks are draining their right shield. And it comes to my attention that my ventral side is exposed to the other one. Oh boy. The forward shield has failed. Get us out of here. Their left shield is draining, Captain. Um. Stand down weapons. Okay, isn't this dust cloud hurting us? Reporting our status to Starfleet. Well, that encounter did not start out ideally. I didn't want to cause One moment. a war with the Romulans, Admiral but apparently we can shoot at them whenever we want. I'm disappointed by your inability to find the Berkeley's attackers, but I'm sure you did your best. However, I'm very impressed with your handling of the encounter with the Romulans, Captain. It is a testament to the skills of you and your crew that you were able to survive an encounter with a superior Romulan force. There were people who said I was unwise to give you the Sovereign, Captain. Those voices are silent now. I failed my mission. Your encounter with the Romulans is most disturbing. It appears the Berkeley isn't the only vessel that's been attacked. Other ships in that area have been damaged or destroyed. 
Shields Some are survivors at 50%. to Cardassians or the Romulans as the aggressors. But most, like the Berkeley, Captain, were unable their to identify their attackers. Shields. I received yes, word sir. from the Cardassian government. They have denied responsibility for the attack on Viranu Station. Their reply states House Arterius has severed connections with the government and gone rogue. These reports oh, I don't of believe that for a Romulan second. aggressiveness are leading to a diplomatic crisis. We cannot take action against the Cardassians or the Romulans without proof of some kind. Sir, it our is shield is draining. We know who is responsible for these attacks. From our intelligence, it appears the majority of the attacks have occurred in three the systems. Cloud. The Itari system, the Voltaire system, and the Zion Trades system. Cancel yellow Control alert. these areas thoroughly, Captain, and watch for any aggressors. Keep me informed of your progress. Liu, out. Captain, All right. radiation reaching critical levels. Uh oh. Captain, Yellow radiation alert. reaching Shields critical up. levels. Captain, radiation reaching critical levels. All right, I hear you, Brex. <laughs> well, the shields took quite a pounding in that, but uh, we survived anyway. So next mission is we're gonna have a whole bunch of uh, systems to explore, but we'll save that for the next video, everybody. Uh, yeah, I'll see you there.